Right, today we will be disassembling an HP 15-AN050 in our Star Wars edition. I'm right, just going to go ahead and want to remove the battery. So just hit the battery latches. And then kind of roll it out. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and remove the case screws. Um, these are a Phillips 2.5. All right, once you have the case screws out, we can go ahead and remove the uh, CD-ROM drive. Looks like we have a couple more screws there on the bottom. Those look like a Phillips 1 or 1.5. All right, once you have the CD drive out, um, we're gonna go ahead and remove the tiny little covers holding the last couple screws. And we can go ahead and remove the lower hinge covers. And we should be able to separate the bottom cover from the palm rest. The traditional way of just releasing the little snaps around the perimeter. Right, so this one's a little bit tricky. Um, once you have the back cover separated and loose, um, it needs to come up on the front and slide back to be removed so that the um, back corner area clears the um, little hinge things there and the rest of the case. So now that you have the back cover off, you can access the internals of the laptop. All right, so first we're gonna remove the hard drive. So flip up on the little connector gate. And then free the ribbon. And then you can work a little rubber hard drive surround out of the case. And there's the hard drive with the little caddy bars and the SATA connector. All right, next we'll do the memory. Just spread the little bars. Memory stick will pop up, pull it out. Same for the other side. All right, next we'll go ahead and remove the fan and heat sink. So just get your fingernails on the little ends of the connector and pull straight up. Go ahead and remove the screws. And we 
can remove the heat sink. And the fan. All right, next we'll go ahead and get that Wi-Fi card. Let's just pull straight up on the antennas to release them. And remove the screw. All right, now we can go ahead and remove the motherboard. So we'll go around and just make sure we have disconnected all of the ribbons and connectors. really helps to have fingernails. All right, that one's mostly out, but it's getting caught against uh, this plastic piece here. So we'll go ahead and wait on that, pull it all the way out. We have the other one. All right, looks like we have a also a, a ribbon here that goes underneath for the in-out board. So for now, I will just disconnect it from this end, and then we can go ahead and remove the motherboard. motherboard. And then we'll go ahead and remove the in-out board. Now we're going to separate the display assembly from the palm rest. Just going to go ahead and finish removing those hinge screws. and swivel both of the hinges up. And while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, DC jack that we just freed and the power button. out of the way for now and then you have the complete display all right now we will disassemble the display assembly um, we're gonna remove the bezel and you want to first remove these screw covers to access the screws that are holding in the bezel two screws. And then we can go around 
around and separate the bezel from the rest of the display assembly. bottom there is some adhesive um, holding the bezel kind of glued to the screen so you want to gently pull without putting too much pressure on the screen itself so you don't want to really wedge your finger in there too hard because you run the risk of breaking that screen Feels like we got most of the adhesive separated. So just unsnap the rest of the bezel from the back cover. bezel from the display assembly so that adhesive kind of goes along the bottom of the screen here so just watch for that when you're trying to remove the bezel because it can be kind of a pain all right so now we can remove the uh, hinges with the display so we're gonna go ahead and remove all of these screws around the perimeter the hinges so we're going to pull the screen and the hinges out as one unit Maybe not, these do not have the screws that hold into the side of the screen. Um, I'm guessing this is a very thin LCD screen. So sometimes with the older LCD screens, these will be retained in the screen by screws, but this one um, is not. This is just to um, help uh, brace the back cover. So we'll go ahead and remove the hinges. Carefully lift up on that LCD screen, and then if you flip it over, you have the video cable. So there's a little piece of plastic that's holding the uh, video cable in there. So we're going to go ahead and separate that. connector straight out. And there is your LCD panel. All right, so the video cable is a combination. It goes all the way up to the webcam, so we're gonna go ahead and free the rest of this video cable. And then the webcam is a very tiny connector. 
So it's best to use a little sharp tool to push that connector out of the webcam and you have your display cable. So with this particular model, we're gonna go ahead and leave these Wi-Fi antennas in there, but we can go ahead and remove the webcam. So you don't wanna pry up from either side, you wanna go ahead and do it from the bottom. That way you're not um, prying up against the weak axis of the webcam. Because these are pretty thin and they can break pretty easy. So there's your webcam. All right, so we have the um, palm rest assembly here. The keyboard is non-removable, uh, but the, tr the touch pad is. So you just have a couple of screws um, going along the top and the bottom here to remove the touch pad, but the keyboard is not removable. So, um, and then you just have the two speakers up here, which pull straight out. So that is how you disassemble this HP 15. So if this video helped or you like it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.